In this video, you will learn how to create a student education plan and register for your classes in Carter at Compass. You can find Carter at Compass by going to our homepage, carteret.edu, and clicking on the link at the top. From there, you will log into Carter at Compass using your same username and password that you use for Moodle, except you will not type in your whole email address for your username, just the portion of your email address that occurs before the at symbol. Now that you've logged into Carter at Compass, hit Student Planning in order to plan your degree. At this point, you have two options. You can view your progress, or you can plan your degree and register for classes. For this video, we will be using the View Your Progress link, as this will show you exactly what classes you have left to fulfill your degree. The View Your Progress screen will show you things like your GPA, the program in which you are enrolled, and the number of credits that you've completed towards graduation. Please note that if you are enrolled in multiple programs at the college, you will need to use these arrows to see both programs. As you scroll through the View Your Progress screen, you will see classes that you have completed and classes that are in progress. You will also see classes that have not yet started. Please make sure that you pay attention to how many credit hours you need to fulfill a certain category. So in this case, this student needs nine credit hours to complete the social behavioral sciences portion of their degree. Since the student has already completed six of nine credits, they would not have to complete all of these classes. They would simply choose one three credit hour class in order to fulfill this portion of their degree. To make an educational plan, you will choose from the list of classes that are not started that you will take in the future to fulfill your degree. So in this case, let's suppose the student would like to take History 131 in order to fulfill the Social Behavioral Sciences category of their degree. From there, the History 131 course will populate with the course description, any prerequisites, and then you can add the course to plan. Once you click Add the course to plan, you can select what term that you would like to take this particular course. So in this case, let's suppose the student would like to take this course in the summer. Then you would hit Add Course to Plan. You will then need to click Back to My Progress in order to go back and add more courses to your academic plan. Going back to View My Progress, notice that the History 131 course now shows up as yellow, indicating that the course has been planned. Also, now the social behavioral sciences of the student's degree shows up as fully planned as they have now either taken or have planned all nine credit hours needed to fulfill this portion of the student's degree. Once you have planned out all of the classes that you would like to take in the future to complete your degree, each section under View Your Progress should either say fully planned or if you've taken in the course in the past, they should say completed. Once you have checked that, scroll back to the top under View Your Progress, click Student Planning, and then click Plan and Schedule. From this screen, hit the Timeline tab to view your entire plan. You can arrow over to the left or to the right to view multiple semesters. You can also delete classes if you have changed your mind. You can also drag and drop classes to move them to different semesters. Once you are satisfied with your plan, you will need to request approval from your advisor. Hit the Advising tab, and notice your advisor's name will show up here over on the left, and then you can hit Request Review. Once your advisor has approved your plan, it's now time to register for classes. Click the Schedule tab. From here, notice that the classes that you have planned now say Approved. You will need to choose sections of these classes. You can do that by hitting View Other Sections. If there are multiple sections of a class being offered, you can arrow over to the right to see all the sections that are available. Once you have decided on a section you would like to take, you can click it and hit Add Section. We will do this for the History course as well. Notice on your calendar that the history course shows up at the bottom since this is an online course. Please know that you have not yet registered for classes. You have to hit the register now button. And once you do so, the classes will turn green indicating that you are now registered for the classes. You have now planned and registered your classes through Carter at Compass.